Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In today's video, we will talk about multiplying and dividing monomials. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically guys, if you want to perform multiplying or dividing monomials, you need to remember the laws of exponents. It is one of the needed uh, skill for you to perform well in this kind of topic. And I will put the link in our description box about our tutorial about loss of exponents and you can see it here okay let's continue now for items number one two three it will focus on multiplying monomials and here for number four five six this one will focus on dividing monomials let's start with item number one in number one we are given 3x times 4x so how are we going to perform or how are we going to multiply these two monomials? So let me show you first the step-by-step -step process. First, we will multiply the coefficients or the numbers. We have 3 times 4. And now, for the variable, since they are the same variable, we will copy the variable x and then we will add the exponents here we have 1 and 1 that would be 1 plus 1 so 3 times 4 that is equal to 12 then as for the variable copy your variable x and then simplify that is 2 meaning the correct answer or the product for number 1 is simply 12 x raised to the second power now let's continue with item number 2 in number 2, we are given 2a squared times negative 5a raised to the third power. As I have mentioned earlier, first thing is you need to multiply the numerical coefficients. We have the first, which is 2, and then the second one is negative 5. Now let's proceed with the variables. For the variable, we will copy the same variable, which is a. And then look at the exponents. We have 2 and 3. 2 plus 3. And then we can simplify. 2 times negative 5, since the numbers has different signs, the answer must be negative. So that is negative 10. Then copy your variable a. Then add exponents. That would be to the fifth power. So the correct answer is negative 10 a raised to the fifth power. Now let's move on with item number three. In number three, I have given you here two monomials with two variables. So let's start with the with the numbers 7 times 3, that would be equal to 21. Now, for the variables, we have two variables. Copy first the letter M, and then focus on the exponents of letter M. In the first variable, we have 2 plus the exponent of this variable M is 1, so that is 2 plus 1. And we still have the second exponent, or the variable, which is the variable N. For the variable N, the first N has 1 as an exponent. On the other part, or the other variable n, that is 3, so plus 3. So we can simplify. We have 21. Then for the variable m, that is cubed, or 3. For the variable n, that is to the fourth power. And this is the product of item number 3. Okay? So I hope you learned something from this part. Let's proceed with dividing monomials. For dividing monomials... We have here a fractional form wherein to do this, you need to remember that as I was saying, you loss of exponents. Now, simplify first the numbers. We have 8 over 2 or simply 8 divided by 2. That would give you the answer of 4. So what about the variable? We will apply the quotient rule. Since we have the same variable, we will copy x and then we will subtract 
exponents. In this case, we have 5 minus 2. And then, that is 4x. Subtract this, 5 minus 2, that would be 3. And as you can see, this is now the quotient between these two monomials. Okay, let's continue. Now, we have negative 12 divided by 3. The answer is negative 4. And as for the variables, we have the variable a. And as I have mentioned earlier, we will subtract the exponents. We have 4 minus here, it has an invisible 1. To simplify, our answer here is negative 4 a raised to the third power. This is the answer. Okay? Now, here, as you can see, we have 15 m to the sixth power over n raised to the third power over 2 x raised to the second power. As you can see, I think there's an error here. I think I can make this be equal to 12. Okay? So, now, we will try to simplify this 15 over 12. So, this one is not, 15 is not divisible by 12. So, we can simplify the fraction. We have 5 over 3. Then, as you can see, the problem here is that the variables from the numerator and the denominator are not the same. So we cannot do something about it. It will retain as m raised to 6, n raised to 3, over x squared. So what will be the answer? This is the answer. m raised to 6, n raised to the third power, and x squared. This is now the answer for item number 6. So guys, I hope you learned something from this video on how to multiply or divide simple monomials. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa the latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat and bye-bye!